Now, everybody welcome. Let's have a chat about comparatives or comparisons, which is in 4B on page, uh, uh, on page 42 in your book. Now, I have a question. Uh, what is a comparison? Could you translate it for me, this word? Anybody? Comparison. What word does it come from? What is the verb? And what's the verb then in, in English? Compare. Compare, that's it. So compare is the verb. Then we have uh, comparison. Comparison. Um, how do you say that? What's the verb for this? I can say compare, right? But uh, what would be the verb here with comparison? Different? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it has to be a verb. It has to be a verb. It has to be a verb. Starts with M. May, make, okay? Make a comparison. And then you would say between, right? Between something. All right? It, it's very similar to compare. You can just compare things right but if you want to say comparison then you do this and then comparatives uh we are talking about adjectives that describe comparison okay that's what we are going to talk about today so i'm sure that you studied that in your in your last school so my question is how can i take adjectives and turn them into comparatives there are two ways Anybody can tell me how I can do that? For example, the first first uh, idea would be the verb, uh, sorry, the adjective big, right? And now I want to compare. How can I say that? So easy, no? Uh, bigger. Bigger, that's it. Only one G or how many Gs would be there? Uh, two. And why? Um... No, no sorry. problem. Uh, if you, uh, sorry, uh, only one or uh, yeah, only uh, only one would be a problem, right? This word does not exist, right? But how yeah. would I how would I read this? How would I read this this word? Okay, so how would you read this word, uh, Daniel? Can you try to read this word? Tiger. Tiger. So how would you read this word? Bigger. No, this is you read this word now. Okay. So tiger, biger, right? Okay. Biger, do, biger doesn't exist in English. So this is the first problem. It's the pronunciation. So what we want to do is to separate the syllables. That's what we want to do. And this happens when you have a short word, right? The double G or double T, right? For example, uh, hot, hotter. All right. This happens when you have uh, a short word with uh, maybe three letters, uh, three letters, maybe four. It can happen with four. All right. It does not happen every time. OK, that's the problem, because uh, we have this word smart. Hitri. How would I say Hitreshi? Uh, Mati, can you try? Smarter. Smarter. There we go. Do I write two, two T's? No. And why not? Um, no, no, no. Smarter. It's so strange, right? Yeah. I, would say, I would say smarter. Smarter, I would have to say. That's not what I want to say, right? So it does not happen every time. Be careful. It happens with usually, uh, sorry, I just told you right about this. So with three letters. There we go. Uh, so this is the first rule. We add L. Now, there can be other problems with L. OK, uh, maybe I should do it like this, right? So A, we have big, hot, and smart, OK? Then I have another one. Um, what if the word ends with uh, Y? So for example, uh, easy, right? How would I say lehci? Peter, can you, can you tell us? Uh, easier. Easier. Do I write it like this? No. Nope. So uh, I would have to write I, right? Easier. So that's the problem here. Thank you. 
uh, it would be like this, okay? What if the word ends with E already? So for example, I have, uh, wait, wait, uh, which, some word that ends with E, wait, I need help from here. Yeah, large, for example, large. So what would I do with this one? Matias, can you tell me? How would I say větší? Lar larger. Larger, there we go. So I would just add R, right? Larger, large, larger. Excellent. Another question for you, maybe Philip. Can you tell me if I want to say větší než, teplejší než, chytřejší než, how would I say this preposition? How would I say that, what? Uh, what's the preposition? Jaká je ta předložka? So yeah. easier. E R. Uh, no, no, jako když chci říct lehčí než něco, než. Then. Then. And do I write it like this? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like no, nah, the left one. The left one. B H. Now, A -N. good job, Philip. Now, what is the difference between these two? This one is a preposition. To je předložka, then, right? But this is also then. I then the that is way. after. Uh, after, okay, yeah, I can translate this way. Thank you. So that means then, uh, poté, anebo pak, okay? So that means this is a conjunction, to je spojka, okay? This is not a preposition. So be careful, I want to say this. And the problem is that I pronounce it the same way, but it's written differently, okay? So be careful about this. Now, uh, what about a different way? For example, if I have a longer word, if I have, let's say, uh, let me maybe start with two over here. This would be this way. Now, if I start with uh, words like intelligent, for example, how would I say hitreishi uh, this way? Vojtěch, uh, can you tell us? Hitreishi. I cannot say intelligenter, right? Uh, weird. More intelligent. Excellent. So this is a different way. And uh, is there any, how would I say many intelligent me? Wait, do you know? Uh, less intelligent. Mm -hmm. or... Less intelligent. Easy peasy, no? So far, yeah. so good. Now, then I can also say then, of course, Nesh. So here I can compare up and I can compare down. This is not possible here. That means I would have to uh, change the word like big. And I would say, I cannot say less big, right? So I would say smaller, right? That's the idea. So when does it happen? Uh, what is the rule for this? This is for ge generally shorter words. Uh, one, two, two syllables, usually, yeah, usually. Takže jedna až dvě slabiky, okay? Now, what about this then? Uh, for example, uh, Alexa, what do you think? How many syllables are here for this? How many syllables are in this word? Kolik je slabik v tomhle? Uh, in the legend. In the legend. How many syllables? Excuse me, right? So we would have uh, usually longer words, right? That means uh, two, two, five, six syllables. Yeah, maybe there are six syllables too. Uh, I cannot think of uh, an example now. But look, this is the problem here. Two syllables, two syllables. Sometimes I have two syllables and still I need to use this way. Uh, it is because this is the, from French. This style of adjectives is from French. And when these are from French and they are used in English, they can be short, but I still use them with more or less. Let me give you one example, honest, okay? Honest, two syllables, but it's from French. And the problem is that because it's from French, I cannot say honester. So I would say more honest or less honest, okay? So look, uh, usually it's for longer words, but there are these problems that you have to remember that you don't speak French. I, I don't think any of you speaks French, so it will not help you to just uh, remember this rule. So for you, you need to remember that there are shorter words that still need this style, okay? You have to remember them. There's no other way, okay? Are there any questions? So far, so good. I'm going to leave this document on Google Classroom later, yeah? so you can then study it. But you will find it all here as well uh, in, in your book. Then we have irregular adjectives uh, that we have to remember. That would be number, th number three, right? 
Oh, here's number two now. Jesus, wait, I have to correct it. There we go. Now, uh, we have the, uh, there are three adjectives that we have to remember. Far, good, and bad. Now, how can I compare these, uh, Jan? So choose one adjective here and compare them. Uh, uh, good is better. Better, good. Uh, bad is worst. And far is... I don't know. No problem, no problem. Anybody knows in the classroom? Vzdálenější, takže further, 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 excellent, excellent. Now, um, in English, I don't know why it's not in the book, all right? Because if we check the answer, it, it's further, all right? You will find it in the text later uh, as you do your written task. But uh, the problem here is that there is another one, farther, and it's also correct. But there is a little difference, all right? It's not in the book, but I want to tell you, farther exists, but it's only about distance, all right? To znamená, je to jenom o vzdálenosti. For example, Prague is farther from the US than Canada is, for example. And this is just about the distance, nothing else. When you say further, it can be the distance. So that means it's the same as farther. But it can also be abstract. It can also be abstract. What do I mean if something is abstract? Anybody can explain? Abstract me, also in Czech, we can say. If something is abstract, for example, love is abstract. You can touch it. You can't touch you, you it. You can touch it. That's it. So I am describing things I cannot touch. For example, uh, let me give you one example sentence here where farther would not be correct. Okay. So he talked uh, further and further. Okay. Mluvil dále a dále. Right. Even in Czech, I would say that. But uh, here, farther would not be correct. Okay. Because farther can only be about distance, nothing else. So basically, uh, remember further, use further, but uh, keeping in mind that farther can exist. That's all I want to tell you, all right? Use further because you will always be correct, but farther exists, all right? That's what I want to tell you. Good, it's not in the book, but it should be. Are there any questions about this? All good? I think now that you are ready for your task uh, that you need to finish by Friday. Maybe some of you have finished it already, but I believe that it's way easier now. I'm going to leave this video and uh, this document on Google Classroom, all right? So I hope that you can study it again if you have problems with this.